Well, howdy there, folks. Welcome back to Rock Hard Riffs, or welcome to Rock Hard Riffs. This is the guitar channel for the self-taught. Uh, please look in the description. There, always something, there is always something in there for you. I have other stuff that I've done. Uh, Beatles stuff, Sgt. Pepper, Abbey Road, uh, Beatles Help Special Editions, uh, Ron Howard's Eight Days a Week, uh, and others. So take a look. I'll put links in the description. Also, let me know if you would like to go over the Beatles Anthology. I have the DVDs in the book, so let me know if you'd like to go over that. Please leave a comment. Alrighty, folks. Alright, now today we're going to talk about George Harrison living in the material world. This is by, this is a book, this is by Olivia Harrison. The foreword is by Martin Scorsese. And the introduction is by Paul Thoreau. Now, it's very interesting. I also have a couple other books here that I thought I'd uh, give you a gander at if you were not familiar with this. This is Dark Horse, The Private Life of George Harrison. This is original hardback, too, by the way. And uh, I Me Mine by George Harrison. Okay, and that's an autobiography that George wrote. And it has cool stuff in it. You look how yellow that is. This is an original, so I wonder how much these are worth now. You just never know. Original hardback, hardcover. So, cool stuff. Great reads if you want to look into it. Now, John Lennon was a little irked by George. He said he left some stuff out about him in there, so, you know, got to be a little drama in there somewhere. <coughs> okay, so let's get back to living in the material world. Now, there is a two-part HBO documentary that's directed by Martin Scorsese based on this book by Olivia Harrison. And this covers George's life from the second he was born until he had passed away back in 2001. And it shows everything in between, the Beatles, etc. Uh, you know, after help, the Beatles kind of parted ways a little bit. They took a, a much a deserved break. John went and made a movie called How I Won the War. Uh, and Ringo kind of hung out with him for a little bit. George went to India. And Paul was hanging out in Europe, uh, primarily in London, I think, at this time. And he was doing stuff with uh, George Martin, their producer, which was kind of neat. But uh, George was trying to discover himself. And at that point, after help and, say, you know, Rubber Soul Beatles uh, 6, I think it is, uh, the album. I don't have everything in front of me. I'm just doing this off the top of my head. But uh, they had all had their fill of Beatlemania. And by that point, <clears throat> George really had his fill. He was about ready to call it quits at that time. John was saying the same thing after uh, doing the movie How I Won the War. He was saying he realized that he was kind of done with the Beatles. <clears throat> but really, when you think about it, it was just the insanity of the Beatlemania. Uh, that, you know, as George said, they paid a bit with their nervous systems for the Beatlemania. I mean, who would expect such a thing? to happen. Such a phenomenon. Just absolutely amazing. And George talks all about it. Olivia talks all about it in this movie. You get to meet a lot of George's friends. You know, he was involved in Monty Python stuff, The Life of Brian. Also, uh, racing car, uh, uh, I think, not top, I forget which kind of racing, mainly like Grand Prix type stuff that George really was into. He really enjoyed that. Also, this goes in-depth into George's uh, experiences with Middle Eastern religions, if you want to call that. Or Actually, the, the truth of what it is that George followed is the Krish Krishna teaching. And there goes my alarm. i got to turn that off. Welcome to reality. Uh, George was following Hare Krishna. And the teaching of Krishna is in a book called uh, the Bhagavad Gita. And this, uh, there are other folks that teach transcendental meditation. That's where this stuff comes from. And that uh, was taught to George and the Beatles by the Maharishi Mahesh Yogi, which follows the Paramahansa Yogananda, if all of that makes any sense. Paramahansa Yogananda is a person that supposedly is uh, the fellow that created the TM, or transcendental meditation. And the uh, Maharishi Mahesh Yogi followed TM and taught it to the Beatles. And especially George, he remained with that stuff for his entire life, which is pretty cool. And even John said uh, he still meditated once in a while. 
So pretty interesting stuff. Talks all about that. Um, I find it fascinating. I don't have any uh, negative thoughts towards that. That's George's life. That's how he wanted to see it. I've been involved a little bit in stuff kind of like that, but I'm not going to really go into it. But it's uh, very interesting, to say the least. So this book, what a fantastic book. Again, this the movie accompanies this. I highly, or the two-part documentary, there he is with uh, Bob Dylan hanging out. I mean, just great stuff in here, more Dylan. Highly suggest you take a look at this. You know, for the Beetle Freaks, you got to have it. You already know it. Speaking of meditation and all that fun stuff. So, all right, folks, definitely take a look at the two-part documentary, like I mentioned. And this book, I'd read this first, if it were me, and then watch the the documentaries if you can get them on however it is you watch movies these days there's so many different ways now folks I was thinking about going over the anthology next let me know if that's what you want or what it is that you do want next if anything at all now, I have bootleg leg albums to go over I have the anthology I have that on CD and DVD and book and uh, other stuff that I can't think of right off the top of my head but I have plenty to look at but please leave a comment and let me know that's what you want. And let me what, know what it is that you do want. All right, folks. Thanks for watching Rock Hard Riffs. God bless George Harrison. God bless all of you, too. And thanks for watching. <laughs>